Have you ever wanted to live as a character in a movie, traveling in a massive spaceship, hopping between star systems? That would be cool, wouldn't it? But have you ever thought about what you would eat on one of these ships? How does a moon melon sound to you? What about a moon mango? Now, for the first time ever, scientists are able to grow plants in moon soil. They did it! Could this information allow us to grow food out in space beyond the surface of our planet? What happened? NASA astronauts first visited the moon over 50 years ago during the Apollo missions in the 1960s and 70s, where astronauts walked on the lunar surface during six of these missions. During these trips to the lunar surface, the astronauts brought samples of moon rocks and soil back to the Earth for further study. Because the supply of lunar material on Earth is so limited and such a precious resource, Experiments done with these samples have been limited and focused on not damaging the material. So the two that are gonna get opened are this one here and that one there. And those are both from Apollo 17. So this one was sealed under vacuum on the moon and then brought back, never opened. But recently it was decided to sacrifice some of these samples to attempt to grow plants in lunar soil to see if it was able to support life. And for the first time, Plants have been successfully grown in that soil. This is a giant step forward in long-term space travel and eventually habitation on other planets beyond our own. The plant they were able to grow was a species readily used in laboratory studies, Thalecress from the mustard family. From the results, there is evidence to suggest that this soil could be used to grow vegetables and other edible plants with some help. Habitation on the Moon The first step that humanity must make before we can find the next habitable planet for us is to colonize the Moon. Since the first trip there, scientists have begun to plan what possible ways to survive and build bases on the Moon. One of the main challenges that has faced this goal has been fuel. A rocket needs several thousand dollars worth of fuel for every additional kilogram of cargo it brings into space, which makes shipping food into space extremely costly. With the ability to grow plants in lunar soil, the dream of being able to live in a base on the moon is getting much closer to reality. Would you want to visit a lunar base? What would it be like to live and work on one? But what kind of soil is found on the moon? And could it be made more viable? The soil that was collected on the moon is in classification of soil called regolith, which is defined as the layer of loose deposits of rock and dust composed of different materials that cover the solid rock layers of the moon. We can find this type of soil not only on the moon, but also on Earth as well as other asteroids and planets within our galaxy. And while it's been proven that it can sustain plant life, the vegetation it produced were weaker and more sickly than the control. With the incorporation of nutrients and other additives, some scientists believe that the soil could be a large proponent of future growing mediums while off the Earth's surface. Eventually, the research will branch into more plant species, including fruits and vegetables, that can be grown for food on other planets. Being able to use extraterrestrial soil will allow future exploration, and colonization can take place without having to transport massive amounts of soil from Earth to grow their food in. What was the experiment like? This experiment needed more than one type of soil in order to see all the properties of the lunar soil. To accomplish this, researchers also grew several plants in volcanic ash from Earth. The mixture was made in a way that was meant to imitate the abrasive glass pieces found in the lunar soil to give them a similar substrate to compare. One of the researchers, a geologist from the University of Florida, stated that the fragments are actually quite sharp and angular and contains small pieces of metallic iron and other anomalies which the volcanic ash doesn't replicate fully. But there can still be information gathered from having samples with slightly mismatched properties that will impact the growth of plants in different ways. 
None of the plants grew as quickly or as well as they would have in actual soil. But being able to grow them at all gives scientists something to celebrate. Of the two types of soil they used, the soil from the moon's surface performed worse than the lunar-like soil made from volcanic ash. Researchers also learned that the substitute lab-made lunar soil that they had previously used for study does not mimic the real thing as closely as they had believed. What do these results mean? There could be several reasons why the two soils performed so differently from each other, and the researchers were quick to connect the dots of this mystery. Unlike the Earth, the moon doesn't have its own magnetic field or large atmosphere. This means that all of the sun's harmful radiation, solar winds, as well as powerful cosmic rays coming from interstellar space are striking the surface of the moon with their full force. Researchers believe that this constant bombardment of harsh radiation degraded the soil and depleted it of the necessary compounds for life to thrive. In order to find more suitable soil to grow plants while traveling through space, the scientists theorized that the astronauts would need to focus on young, newly formed moons and planets to find more viable soil. Overall, this experiment has proven that plants can survive being grown in soil originating outside of Earth, albeit they did have some signs of stress not found in those grown in other soil. The Future of Growing Plants in Space while this research has shown us that plants can be grown in soil found off of the Earth's surface, there are still hurdles that will need to be crossed in order to grow enough food to support a small group of astronauts. Based on this research, all indicators points to plants grown in this type of soil should be able to produce safe and nutritious vegetables. The next phase will have to explore ways to reduce the stress on the plants growing in these harsh conditions so the plants can grow strong enough to support its fruit. As plants grow, they absorb nutrients from the soil, which alters the soil, and there are not many samples on Earth, limiting the number of experiments that can be done. So another trip to the lunar surface will be needed if researchers want to get enough of the soil to continue these experiments on Earth. The future of space travel keeps looking brighter as more experiments show what life could be like out among the stars. Thanks for watching. Comment down below whether you would or would not try food grown in extraterrestrial soil. See you next time on Matter.